Tyler Hollinger owns Festival Cafe on the Upper East Side. There's nothing like it in this area. But he feels his restaurant that he opened in the middle of the pandemic is facing unnecessary challenges. It's clear that the politicians are playing politics with small business. This after Mayor de Blasio announced Monday that 184,000 private sector employers in New York City will have to comply with the new vaccine mandate. It will require all workers to get vaccinated and children ages 5 to 11 will soon have to show proof of vaccination to eat indoors. I feel like they're doing something good for the country. I think it's tough because I think everyone has their own right as their child. To bar children from entering our establishment is ludicrous. It's probably going to cause a 20% to 30% reduction. However, Sean Hayden, who owns multiple restaurants in New York City, including Valerie in Midtown, does not have a problem with the decision. We were closed here for 14 months, you know, and I don't want to go back to that. And I feel like that customers that's coming here spending, you know, good money and they want to know the status of the people who serving them. But people from other countries may face some setbacks. Andrew Ridgey with the New York City Hospitality Alliance shared this email from a Belgian family who who said their six and nine year olds are not able to get vaccinated in their country. In a statement, Ridgie stated, quote, given the rapidly approaching holidays and considerable impact of the December 14th deadline, the proposal should be delayed until next year, end quote. And while it is unclear what Omicron is capable of doing, politicians and health experts suggest not waiting to find out, especially since COVID case rates are highest among five to 11 year olds, according to New York City's health commissioner. We in New York City have decided to use a preemptive strike to really do something bold to stop the further growth of COVID. You really got to be careful before we make any determinations that it is less severe or really doesn't cause any severe illness comparable to Delta.